everyone, it's Elaine Waterman and I am back at the Firehouse Art Gallery on 4th and Kaufman. Um, uh, we are actually reopened and I'm um, looking forward to people coming in and seeing the artwork that is on the walls. We have a fabulous exhibit in all of our galleries actually. We're going to have three um, debuting three artists this second Friday, so we're super excited for that. Uh, we have Helio Susita in, um, in our main gallery. We have our new artist in residence in our South Gallery, Barbara Rudloff. And we also have an artist member feature uh, pop-up gallery with Monica Carroll um, in our Studio C, which is upstairs. So all three of our spaces are filled with art. You can come see us in person and live, or you can see us online, like you're doing this class today. Um, we are going to be live streaming from our gallery on Friday, second Friday, starting at 6.30. We'll do a walkthrough of the whole gallery, um, show you all the amazing artwork, and um, then do a live stream of our online exhibit, uh, which has been going on since uh, May, but then is ending at the end of June. So, let's get to the art class. Um, so we're ending our week of fun in the sun. We are making sun catchers using coffee filters, watercolor, and crayons. So these are my crayons. They're like my favorite crayons to use. They kind of look like um, color pencils or something like that, but they're not. They're Mr. Sketch scented crayons, and they're awesome. And they do smell. They smell really good. Anyway, um, so we're gonna use crayons. We're gonna use coffee filters. And we're going to use watercolor. You can use water and pan watercolors, or I've got my handy dandy liquid watercolors to use for today. I've got blue, red, and yellow, which happen to be all of the primary colors. So three colors, primary colors, blue, red, and yellow. Um, and we are going to be mixing a secondary color today, and which is orange. And orange is made by, orange is made by, um, Let's see if you guys know. Can you guys guess? It's made by red and yellow. So you mix these guys together and you get orange. And that's your secondary color that we're going to be using today. So we are going to be making these cool sun catchers that I have behind me. Um, and they look nice on the wall, but they look awesome in the window. When the sun comes through, they look really pretty. Uh, the colors are really vibrant and they just look really cool. So. Here's another one. See, it kind of looks not that great, um, you know, without the sun coming through. But once you put it in a window, it's going to look really pretty. And we're going to make a whole bunch of these. Um, we're going to put them to dry, and then we are going to put them in their frames. Now, their frames are super easy, uh, something you probably have at home, um, and they are just plates. So just to show you that you can use whatever plates you have in your kitchen, um, Obviously, they have to be disposable paper ones or styrofoam ones. They can't be ceramic because you can't cut through those. But, um, you know, you can find whatever plates you have at home. Obviously, this guy has a print on it, but still can use it. This one's styrofoam, not even paper, but still can use it. So, just find the plates that you have at your house that are disposable, whether they're paper or styrofoam. And all you do is cut out a circle uh, for your um, coffee filter sun catcher to to fit inside. So supply wise, you're gonna need coffee filters, like I said. You're gonna need your watercolor, liquid or pan, doesn't really matter. You're gonna need scissors to cut out the center of your plate. And you're gonna need glue. Now I have glue stick, but you can use white glue. You can use either one, it doesn't matter. And, did I say plates? Well, you need your plate. So. You also probably want some paper towels just in case you make a mess and so you can clean up really quickly. Um, obviously, I am at the firehouse today and not at my house. I have all this space to work with and I'm really happy. Sometimes when I am working at my house and I have my little corner, it's a little hard to show you everything that I'm doing, but hopefully with all of this space, you guys will be able to see what we are creating today for our class. And our class is Sun Catchers. Um, so let's get to it. Oh, and if you're here live, say hi. I always love saying hi to the kiddos. So um, comment, and I will try and get to your comment. And I will also say hi. 
So that is my workspace right there. See how big it is? I have so much space to do my work. Um, I'm gonna move these liquid watercolors. Actually, I'm gonna replenish my palette. So this is my palette right here. As I told you, we have yellow and we have red. Now these are our primary colors, two of our primary colors. The third one is blue. Um, and I'm actually gonna put blue here just because, you know what, we might have some fun and experiment with different colors at the end of class when we're done with our sun captures because playing around with art is always fun. Now, when I say watercolor, you might think, oh, this is not a messy project, but it is. So if you look, I got watercolor on my fingers. These liquid watercolors are actually really concentrated and one of the reasons that I love using them. So I have my brush and my water is right here. And this right here is orange. I mixed it before class, but I'm gonna show you how I made it. Just because it gives you a little bit of idea of how to mix your own colors. Now, red is a really strong color, so I'm only gonna put one drop of red. And then I'm gonna put the rest yellow because since red is so strong, you need less red than yellow to make your orange. So I'm going to add a little water to that and stir it up. And I will use that for my orange today. So red and yellow make orange. And put that in my cup right there and let it sit and I am going to prep first my um, coffee filter sun capture. So move this to the side now that we've mixed our orange and I'm gonna put the coffee filter right on the paper so I don't get my workspace messy as you can see there's like little red dots right there from my watercolor. And all I'm gonna do is get my crayons first, and I'm going to draw my sun. So coffee filters are circular in shape, so they really help you in designing your sun. They'll have the bottom part, which has a circle right here, and you can just follow that for the face of your sun, the central part of your sun. So there's my circle right there. And you want to draw pretty strong with your crayons. So really get that um, line penciled in there, that circle shape penciled in there. Then I'm going to do eyes. And coffee filters are kind of fun to use because they come in really large packs. So you can experiment with many different kinds of eyes. And as far as an art supply, they are not that expensive. I'm going to do my smile. And if you want, you can add teeth. Now, if you've managed to lose a couple teeth, you can also color it in just like that. And so your son could have a missing tooth as well. Now that we've got the face of the sun drawn, oops, sorry for shaking that. Now that we have the face of the sun drawn, we can draw the rays of the sun going all the way around. You can rotate your sun as you draw it. Now, for those of you that don't have parents that um, drink coffee or your parents decide that they don't like coffee, which is definitely not where I'm coming from because I love it. But um, if your parents don't drink coffee, and you don't have any coffee filters and you're like, Miss Elaine, I can't do the project today. Don't worry about it. I'm going to put some more coffee filters on the um, mailbox of the firehouse outside. So if you want to do the project, you can come pick some up um, and you can do the project later. So I'll put a note on the event page that there are still coffee filters to be picked up. So don't worry if you don't have access to coffee filters or if you don't have any in the house, you can always come by the firehouse and just pick them up. Okay, so now I have my orange sun. You could have made it with yellow if you wanted. In fact, I'm gonna do some yellow rays as well. Just like that. 
Now coffee filters are an amazing art supply to use with watercolor. They diffuse the color, meaning they allow the color to spread in really cool ways. Now you might not be able to control the spread of the watercolor as much because their diffusing power is so strong, but it creates lots of cool designs. And I'm gonna do little white cheeks and I might even color in my teeth. Okay, and oops, maybe I'll even give them red eyelashes. Why not, right? Okay, so that is my sun. I've drawn it all in with my crayons, and now all I have to do is use the watercolor to color it in. Now, first things first, we're gonna wet the whole coffee filter with just a little bit of water. So the reason that we use crayons or oil pastels is because a lot of different other materials might melt with the water. So if you used your washable Crayola markers and then you painted over your sun with water, all of those marker colors would um, spread out. Now that could be a different and totally cool project on its own, but that's not what we're doing today. Um, hi Joshua, I'm so glad you're able to join. And so now the coffee filter is all wet and we are ready to paint. You might be able to see like there are the white cheeks and you can see that the um, wax crayon is resisting the watercolor a little. So now I'm gonna go back to my watercolor and I am just going to put some color on the coffee filter just like that. Now we can spread it out and mix it in just a second. So, but first I put yellow and then I put some red. Now you guys know that yellow and red make orange you'll probably notice that when the red and the yellow mix, you'll start to see that orange color come out. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the orange that we made and I'm just gonna add it to my coffee filter just like that. Now, because the coffee filter um, is a different kind of substance than just normal paper, it actually dot dries really quickly. Um, if you were to just put this outside, take it off of the plate that you're painting on and, and put it on the ground and let the sun dry it, it would dry really quick, like in a couple of minutes. Um, I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna show you what it looks like first. So there it is wet, and you can pretty much see through it because of the material that the coffee filter is made out of. I'm gonna put it on a clean paper plate right here, and gonna let it dry. Now it might not be dry by the time we're ready to do the frame, but don't worry about that. I actually have this one ready to go so that I can show you what our next steps are. Now, I'm gonna wipe off this right here. There was a lot of excess watercolor that went through the coffee filter and ended up on my plate. That's okay. I knew that was going to happen. And I'm going to take another coffee filter and this time I am just going to, I don't know, draw some lines because this one's just our mess around. While we wait for the other one to dry, we can show you all the cool things that you can do. So these are all my warm colors that I'm using with my crayon. So I've got my orange, my yellow, and my red, my warm colors. Now I'm gonna take this coffee filter, which really doesn't have anything to do with sun, the sun, or fun in the sun, but it is gonna be still a sun catcher. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to wet it. And then I am gonna paint it with all the colors that I have, which I may only have red, blue, and yellow, and then a mixed orange, but I am going to paint it with reds and blues and yellows, and I'm gonna make, this time I'm gonna make 
uh, cool colors. So I'm going to show you how you can make your cool colors. So starting out with red, I'm going to paint some red on it. Now, if you remember how to mix purple, I won't be able to hear you, but you can call it out right now. What do I add to red to make purple? I'm going to add a little bit of blue. We'll see if it works. And there we go. There we made purple. So that is my cool color. And I'm going to put a little blue in the center. And I'm even going to go all the way to the other side with my blue because we're going to mix the next cool color, which is green. It's our next secondary color that we're mixing. And what do I mix with blue to make green? Okay, so I've got it all colored all the way to the edge. And to make green on this side right here, I am going to add some yellow. And you get a very cool green color. So I'm going to hold this up to you so you guys can see. Now, because the computer is picking it up, I'm not really quite sure you guys can see all the cool colors that we just made. But I'm going to put this out to dry, and um, I'll post a picture of it on this live stream later so you can see all the colors that I just made. So I'm going to dry off my fingers because now I have watercolory fingers and I am going to take the coffee filter that I made already. So you'll see. There's my sun face and I am going to put it in the frame and I think I'm going to frame it out like, see, how do I do it from the last one? I think I'm going to put it like this. So the face is on the inside. So all I do is get my glue stick. Now if you're using white glue, it's totally the same kind of process. But I am just going to put glue right on the edge of my sun catcher coffee filter. And then I am going to place it onto my plate and press it down. And as I said, coffee filters are a really kind of a cheap way to get cool diffusing paper to do your watercolor projects. Now, when I used to teach projects with watercolor, I used to get this very fancy, expensive paper called diffusing paper, and um, it was cut into all sorts of shapes. And then I realized as I was using it one day, well, this is just a coffee filter. So instead of getting fancy, fancy paper, I ended up getting coffee filters. And there we go. There's our cute um, sun catcher sun. And I'm gonna pull these ones that are behind me down so that I can show you. The samples from uh, the ones that I did, and these are actually put together by my kids. So there's another one, and we tried one with all white, and that's what that one looks like. So if you get a whole ring of these, so like you can get a whole string, you make them all, and then you put them together with string, and you can hang them in the windows. So if you have hole punchers, you can just hole punch it like that and you can add this to a whole string of them and put them together and hang them in the window and you have a really cool decoration to invite the sun in and cause some really cool colors to come into your room. So I'm going to turn the screen up. Um, I will make sure that once this one dries and this one dries, I'll post a picture on the live stream. Uh, so you guys can see what mine turned out like. 
If you want to post your pictures or share your pictures, because I love seeing what you guys create, you can post on the event page that is related to this class, or you can just send to me at elaine at firehouseart.org. I've been getting some awesome submissions. I apologize that I haven't put them on the Facebook page yet, um, but we have been so focused on reopening that it's been a little bit crazy here. So, But I'm very happy that we're getting back to normal. Um, and that we can start seeing some people back here at the gallery. So I'm going to turn the screen up. And hi, guys. So once again, my name is Elaine Waterman. I am the executive director at the Firehouse Art Center. We are so excited to be opening up again and debuting three new artists. Um, our main gallery has Helio Lucida's portraiture. Uh, we've got Barbara Rudloff, who is also a figurative portraiture, um, a portrait artist, as our artist in residence in the back. And we also have Monica Carroll upstairs as our um, artist member feature. And she has a really cool um, exhibit that uh, you just have to check it out. It's centered on something that happened um, through COVID quarantine, something that became very important. Um, to everyone and I think it's just it's just amazing like all the stuff that we're doing here at the Firehouse Art Center right now I'm just really proud to be part of this organization um, And I'm also very happy that we are going to be able to continue our virtual um, Kids art class. We can't have anything yet in the um, Firehouse gallery So we're going to keep these things going because we love seeing what you guys create and giving you guys an opportunity to create it at home hopefully with supplies that you might have at your house um, and also providing kits of supplies that you might not have so um, we're gonna keep posting these next week I'll have to check and see what next week themes the, the theme is and I will make sure to post on Sunday some of the projects that we're doing um, and I will hopefully see you again Tuesday and Thursday at 1 p.m. for the live stream as always you can find our um, videos if you missed something or you want to rewind or you didn't get a chance to watch it before uh, just check our Facebook page all our videos are right there or you can go to our YouTube channel uh, and the username is uh, Firehouse Art Center Longmont um, thank you again for coming to create with me I um, I'm really happy that we can continue to do these classes and I really love seeing what you guys t create so hopefully I'll see you again next week Bye, guys.